we're going to do a titration of acetic acid with sodium hydroxide to generate the titration curve for a weak acid with a strong base. We're going to titrate a solution of approximately 0.1 molar acetic acid with approximately 0.2 molar sodium hydroxide. You will have the volume and the molarity of the acetic acid and the molarity of the sodium hydroxide solution. You want to calculate what the equivalence point volume of sodium hydroxide is and the half equivalence point volume so that you can include those in the data points that you take. We're going to pipette 50 milliliters of the acetic acid solution into the beaker. We're going to add three or four drops a phenothalene indicator to the solution. Phenothalene is an acid-based indicator. It is colorless in acidic solution and pink in basic solution. It changes around 9 to 10 pH. We're going to place a calibrated CBL pH electrode into the beaker. We're going to gently stir the solution. We want to be careful that the stir bar does not hit the electrode. We've already calibrated the pH electrode. So we're going to come down to collect data. We're going to come down to trigger prompt. We're going to wait 30 seconds for the electronics to warm up. and press enter. We're going to have the CBL take pH readings. We're going to press trigger and enter the volume at different points in the titration. Our first point will be before we've added any sodium hydroxide to the solution. So our burette is set at 0.00 milliliters. When the CBL reading is stable, we're going to press trigger on the CBL and enter a value on the calculator of 0.00 milliliters. We want to collect more data, so we'll select more data. We will now add 2 milliliters of the sodium hydroxide solution. We want to read the, care the burette carefully. If you don't enter exactly 2.00 milliliters, read the volume carefully from the burette. That will be the volume that you enter. When the CBL reading is stable, we'll press trigger on the CBL and we'll enter the volume on the calculator, 2.00. We want more data. You will collect data every 2 milliliters to 20 milliliters, every 1 milliliter from 20 milliliters to 30 milliliters, and every 5 milliliters from 30 milliliters to 50 milliliters. You also want to make sure that you collect data at the half equivalence point and the equivalence point. You also want to record the volume when the indicator changes from colorless to pink. When we've reached 50 milliliters and the reading on the CBL is stable, press trigger, enter the value 50.00, press enter. You're now through collecting data, so come down and press stop. This is the graph of the acetic acid with sodium hydroxide titration.